we have one stripped beetle ready to go. Uh, next video is going to be installing new harness. What's up YouTube? Today's install day. Uh, I want to get the harness laid out for you guys so you can get a quick look at it before you go into the car. Nadine says good morning. She's just hanging out with us this morning. You can see they have the harness zip tied off, different color zip ties. Kind of helps, you know, make sense of all of this wire so it's not just one big giant bundle. Let me give you a quick rundown of what everything is. Yellow is the front section of the harness. Green is the engine and tail section. Red, steering column section. And blue is your dash section. So that kind of gives you a direction on where all of these need to go. This section of the harness is a lot of power stuff. So, you know, there's your battery positive, dome light, things of that nature. Some of this may go different directions. They just kind of branch it all off into one area. Easy enough to run one wire down if you need to. Not a big deal. But yeah, there it is. Uh, like I said, you know, today we're going to start the install. And we're going to get going on it. Hope you enjoy. So as you guys saw in the uh, time lapse, coat hanger. And I know a lot of you guys that work on these things and have done these harnesses before, pretty much pull wires through anything. No, coat hangers are your best friend. Pulls them all through. Um, you can see it starts to divide in the harness about what it is. The engine basically just stall stops here and then it goes to tails. And then they both kind of start dividing as well. You can kind of see here in the harness. I'm just gonna rough these in real quick. No real reason to record that, but you'll see them kind of ran to where they go at the end. And we'll go from there. And here's the end result in the engine bay. Uh, as you can see, I have still got to put the tarboard in, and I still have to do my ground wires. Um, the original terminals for the ground wires are, you can kind of make them out down there, gone, basically. So I'm just going to make some new attachment points for those. Not a big deal, just need some new ring terminals on the end of those, and they're going to go. This is all the tail light going here. This is for the tag light, which just runs up here. I'm just going to ground it out to that stud there. That'd be easy enough. Engine harness here. See, I've got it ran through here. Got it attached there. The harness does come with a tachometer wire, and that connects to your ground side of your coil. I've already ran that for them. They do not currently have a tachometer, but if they ever wanted one, it's wired and ready. So I got that installed for them. Let me show you there. Harness goes across the top, comes down here, splits three ways here. That's where it goes back into the car. And this is the other side for the tail light. You can see the other ground wire there. And all my tail light wiring is done. Uh, I got some pictures that I've probably already shown you. I don't know if I have or not, but there's the back end complete. What's up guys, here's underneath the car for you guys. Um, just wanted to show you where I got the wire ran. I apologize in advance for these crappy camera angles, but let's see if I can see what we're looking at. So if you look right there, this harness contains the reverse lights and 
the starter signal from ignition switch. Come up here a little bit, let's see. Again, I'm sorry about the camera angles, it's kind of, kind of rough. It's a maneuver around down there, under here. Right above the tongue, right there. Harness comes down, goes up above the trans right there, and then first light switch is there. Comes up, separates here. As you can see, still got a zip tie I gotta get. And then start a wire, runs down, and it goes there. they're running this headlight switch and this is only if you're running this style headlight switch I'll leave it up here so you can see it for a second rebel wants you to run your 30 power which is the yellow as you can see there the light switch power to your 30 and then jump your 30 to your X power down there at the bottom is right here where my thumb is right here and they want you to run a jumper from there to there now that wire is not included in the wiring harness because you know not everybody's gonna be running this switch so if you do 
your installation in order that they show, for example, there's my ignition switch wired over there, you're going to have some spare wire. So, jumper. And I'm going to create my jumper to go here and here between the two. And it's going to go up into the harness, as you can see in there. So it would just be nice and tucked away. There you go. Continuing on. Originally, when we took this harness out, remember me mentioning that the harness for the wipers I wanted to leave these guys for reference. Well, it paid off because the kit does not come with these individual wires from here to the motor, to the switch, which I have out. You can see the hole for it up there. I'm going to use some of my cutoff from the new to make a sub harness, and I'll show it to you now. Sub harness. Sub harness end result. Here you go. There's your connections on the motor that you saw beforehand. Harness going back. And as hard as it is to see, it is impossible to see. Oh, there it is. There is your wiper switch there. Up next, we have the hazard switch.